My Insta 360 helmet mount setup. This is the cleanest and simple POV setup. Try it out and you will thank me later. Watch till the end of the video. And remember to subscribe for more Motovlog content. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my another video. Uh, brought to you by DMV Moto Club, of course. Uh, that's our channel name. I've been experimenting with uh, my camera placement, the front mount of the helmet. I've been meaning to find a very clean setup, trying to cut down the weight as well. I got some good news. I finally come up with the most cleanest setup that I could possibly do with all the pieces that I had. Today I'm going to share that with you. So let's go over uh, my setup first. Let me put my hat on. It's a winter hat, I like the look, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. Here's my helmet. It's the HGC helmet, so it's pretty on the heavy end. It has a visor drop down in there. It has a chin mount. Started using it for the Insta360. And just look how clean it is. I hope you can see it pretty nicely because I know I'm wearing black also and it's a black helmet. I have the chin mount. I have just two accessory added onto it after the chin mount. Your mic system. I have the dead cat going in. Uh, it's right here inside. And the cable, as you can see, it runs around through here and inside. It's a pretty decent setup. The cable does not come in the way. As long as it's on the side of the camera, this will be removed but automatically through the software. The feature of the Insta360. And now I will share some of the pieces and how you can get them. First piece you will need is the J mount. That will go on the chin mount. And knowing that this is the piece that I have previously complained it's very cheap quality. This piece, it breaks all the time. The current one that I have on, it's a new one that Insta360 sent me back. I was glad that they were able to replace it for me and so I have it in and I'm not removing that again. This does not have much flexibility. I hope they can improve this, uh, this quality that we have here and I've compared a couple other pieces. Same quality, not good. They snap, they break easily. And then the second piece that I have, which then I have the Insta360 bolted on, is this. This came in one of the uh, Insta360 bundle uh, with the accessories. This one has a square-ish type of uh, base. And if you get the Insta360 bundle, that one comes with a round one, which I feel like it's better, but I haven't put it onto my setup yet. I will do that next time. And that one just looks like this, which I feel like it has a little cleaner look. Another thing I was contemplating, let's say if I do want the GoPro back on, create a setup something like this, or use a J mount, but then you will still need to add another piece. So that way you can elevate the GoPro and then bend it back. Otherwise, if it's just straight, it's not set to the right angle, mainly going to be recording your tank, the handlebar, and the road. You're not gonna get the front view that you wanna show the viewers where you are traveling, the sceneries, all the other action that is happening around you. So you will need to add these piece and I would also recommend using the bolts. See these bolts? Versus the long piece that you add in because that just, it adds weight. This will cut the weight. And that's exactly what I have done on here. You can see how clean it looks. Uh, there's no extra weight because of it, which I love. I'm so happy that I was able to actually find this solution and I hope all my viewers and anyone that is interested in finding a similar setup uses it, likes it, enjoys it and you know carry on the sharing of the knowledge. Previously I've also used in this case which again is metal adds weight to it. It's for her vertical or horizontal setup. I have now eliminated it because in the Insta360 you can go into the setting and change it from 16.9 or 9.16 put it on vertically Eliminate this set have this set up and um, And you get the same results now you can eliminate this piece from buying and Just have this set up and you'll be saving yourself. Maybe like 25 30 bucks. Maybe by not buying this That's it. That's my setup guys um, If you guys have any questions or concerns or any other good suggestions to share with me Please do that in the comment section or DM me separately comment like share and uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see any suggestions so that way I can work towards making those uh, type of videos I do not have a sponsor by Insta360 or anyone yet I'll be happy if I am able to find some sort of a sponsor to make my videos and content a little bit more interesting they are able to provide me 
with resources that would also help build this channel and improve. Anyone out there listening, if you think my work is getting better, I'd be happy to take your assistance. Another cool update I wanted to share is that on the side, I do have contacts where if you're interested in getting custom leather gear, gloves, or even matching boots to your full suit, do reach out to me. I can help you with the order processing measurements, sort you out with a new suit for the new season for 2024, and the pricing is phenomenally low. You will not find a brand new suit out there with the CE2 protection. Yeah, reach out to me if you need any gear. Do share with your friends who are also in need. So we are out there riding with full protection and ease of mind. With that, guys, thank you all for watching the video and um, see you till next time. Bye. Check out these POV clips from my simple Insta 360 setup.